The black mamba has quite a reputation, it is one of the world's deadliest snakes. It is the fastest land snake in the world, and the longest species of venomous snake in Africa and the second longest in the world, said Sarah Vyernam, a herpetologist based in Madison, Wisconsin. This snake's potential danger has been the subject of many African myths and it has been blamed for thousands of human deaths. The black mamba's reputation is not undeserved. Black mambas are extremely toxic and very fast snakes, Byernum said, they are highly aggressive when threatened, known to strike repeatedly and to inject a large volume of venom with each strike. Their venom is potentially lethal, and though anti-venom exists, it is not widely available in the black mamba's native habitat of southern and eastern Africa. For this reason, they are considered a top killer in a land where nearly 20,000 people die from snake bites every year, according to PBS's Nature. Contrary to what its name would suggest, black mambas are actually brownish in color, ranging from olive to grayish tones, with paler bellies. They are named for the coloration of the inside of their mouths, which is a deep, inky black, explained Byernum. Similar to cotton mouths, when threatened a mamba will open its mouth to show the black lining as a warning signal. Black mambas have coffin-shaped heads and are lithe, athletic snakes. According to National Geographic, they can grow to be 14 feet long, 4.25 meters, though their average length is around 8 feet, 2.4 m. These giants can live up to 11 years in the wild. Just two drops of potent black mamba venom can kill a human, according to South Africa's Kruger National Park like cobras and coral snakes, the venom of a black mamba contains neurotoxins, Byernum told Live Science. She described the venom as fast acting. It shuts down the nervous system and paralyzes victims, and without anti-venom, the fatality rate from a black mamba bite is 100%. Fatalities from black mamba bites have been documented to occur within as little as 20 minutes after injection, said Byernum. However, most known fatalities have occurred within 30 minutes to 3 hours or longer.